Oh, hi there. You just caught me reading uh, Moxie, a collection of short stories by Brian Charles Alexander. I mean, Brian Charles Alexander. How you doing? I'm Brian Charles Alexander, and welcome to another episode of that show that will not be named. I am your host, Brian, or Two Game Prince, whatever you prefer. And today, we're going to start to get into a rant. We're going we're gonna to start off with a video that I wanted to make, and then... Um, because I, I planned, along with the Halloween music video, I also wanted to make a little thing bitching and whining about why every single alcohol company now is making seltzer drinks. Because I suppose that's what White Claw is. I don't even really know what White Claw is. I just keep on seeing crushed up cans of it around my local uh, Starbucks parking lot when I walk to work. And I figure it's... That was a burp. It turned into a throw up in my mouth. Uh, I guess it's 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 seltzer. It's alcoholic seltzer. It's fucking disgusting. Why don't you just drink vodka like a man? Um, and I was gonna make a rant video about this until I realized that there isn't really much to rant about. I just it's fucking stupid. Just drink regular alcohol. What's the matter with you? And you know I was thinking about making this video, and it's just, I realized. That after I have that to say, I have really nothing more to say on the subject. Which gets me into the dilemma, I believe, that my channel suffers from. And that dilemma is that I don't go into these videos planning anything. Which I, I, I like it. People seem to like the format. I mean, I just got 60 subscribers, which I am I'm so thankful for. Thank you all for, for subscribing. I'm definitely, definitely going to start putting better content up on here more more uh more more juicy shit i i need recommendations though guys i don't know what you want to see i will literally do anything i once got asked to make a pornhub account and i did and there are six videos up on there and it's me doing sign language and pretending that i know what that is um but hey at least i could say i have a pornhub account because I, I technically do and uh yeah, but I, I definitely need to... Sorry, this is... I think there's a spider in the corner of my room. It's wigging me out. That thing doesn't crawl in my mouth when I'm sleeping. Anyways, I really don't go into these videos with any plans or anything. That's why uh, I would really like to get your guys' opinion on what I should make videos about. I mean, obviously, this isn't, this isn't one of those channels where it's like, I'm a movie channel. I'm a video game channel. I'm a piss on people in public and laugh at them and run away type channel prank channel ha, you got prank bro no i would like to keep this channel very relative very real very down to earth and uh yeah that's about it other than that i would like to bring up something that i've been neglecting to mention i bored as i am have taken up the hobby of ugh, making mead and um now when it comes to mead i was a i was a super novice and this is just see because okay, let me start from the beginning sorry this is a bit of a story i when i started off making mead i looked it up and everything and it's like oh it's just water mixed with um it's just water mixed with uh honey so I'm like, that's great. Then I can just mix water with honey. And this is what I got. It's been almost two months. And there is, um, there's chunks of stuff on the bottom. And I don't know if that's good or bad. Because there's like this, this brown shit in here. And I don't know what this brown shit is. It looks like dirt. Do you see it? Do you see it? Maybe you don't see it. Maybe so. Ah, you see it? Yeah, right there. You see it floating around in there? You see that? I don't know what that is because I haven't had this thing open, so I don't know what could possibly be getting in here. I mean, I have an air purifier and all that stuff, but... See, the reason that I know that the alcohol is being made in here is because, uh... If I do this... Uh... I get these things, see, I get the streams and I get the lines, so obviously there's some alcohol content in here, but there's still fuzzies. I haven't racked it because nothing's settled to the bottom. Everything's just floating throughout it freely, so I'm not sure if I did it wrong, if, um, 
I didn't add raisins or anything because, uh, you know, when I was looking up the recipes, I just saw, you know, just do mead, just, just water and honey. That's it. And, um, that'd be great. I wanted to make a mead that was just water and honey. And then I watch all these how-to videos and everyone's adding, like, sticks from the forest and twigs and people are adding tea and people are adding orange and people are adding, um, you know, it's a ton of other shit. And I just don't know what I'm doing. So the next time I make this, I'm going to, I bought some air purifier thingy, you know, the, the, the S things. If you, if you make me, you know what I'm talking about. It's uh, the... Uh, the, the, so the gas so the gas can escape but no nothing gets in type things I bought like three or four of those so I'm gonna start using that this is my I was gonna say I can't show you the label because I don't want to get in trouble but then I realized I don't monetize this shit so this is a Carlo Rossi uh, I drink a lot of this wine which I'm probably gonna stop I found out that the sangria has got some high fructose corn syrup in it and I don't need that in my life uh but these, this is what I make my, my meat in. I have another batch right now that is, it consists of water and Cracker Barrel, um, syrup. Because the last time I went to Cracker Barrel in Maryland, which is a couple states down, it's a lot of states down, uh, yeah, last time I went to Maryland, we went to a Cracker Barrel and I just asked the waiter if I could have, like, a ton of the little syrup bottles and he's like absolutely and they're all warm because they put them on top of this thing that warms them up before they bring them out to you so you get warm pancakes and you get warm syrup and i'm getting totally off topic but uh yeah carla rossi why these bottles are great that way i get wine and i don't have to go out and just get a jug i can get a jug and an alcoholic beverage to go with it very nice um but next time i think i'm gonna I think I'm definitely going to make, I'm going to, I'm going to change. I'm going to try to use raw honey next time. Raw honey, which I could probably get from Delicious Orchards over here in, I don't know what town it's in. Um, obviously boiled water, purified water, whatever the shit. And then I will probably add raisins, like a handful of raisins, because I saw that you need some kind of yeast maker. I mean, it looks like yeast is forming in there, but I don't know. Because I've been drinking this every now and again, and it's not getting me drunk at all. I feel nothing. It's just sweet, and it tastes good. And then there's, like, bits of sour when you run into, the, like, these little wisps that are floating around. It's very murky. It has not changed this consistency of murky in forever. And I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what's the matter with it. But, I don't know. You got any mead experts out there, please. Please, I implore you, message me. I need to figure out what I did wrong. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to go back to reading uh, Moxie, a collection of poetry by Brian Charles Alexander. <clears throat> it's on Lulu. <clears throat> it's on Amazon. I forgot what Amazon was for a second. And, uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed. Now, please stand still so I don't poke you in the eye.